Once upon a time, not long ago, lived a happy man named Mr. Bumblesby. Now, Mr. Bumblesby was especially happy today because he had just received some good news. We open the story with Mr. Bumblesby at his home receiving the news. You mean... You mean I won the contest? But... but... I can't believe it! Are you sure that I'm the winner? Yes, Mr. Bumblesby. Your name was drawn from all of the contestants, and you are the winner. You are to report to the Seattle Seahawks training camp this weekend, and you have an option to watch or participate with the team during practice. How do you feel about this, Mr. Bumblesby? Hello? Hello? Mr. Bumblesby, are you there? Oh, oh yes. I, I must have fainted. It's, it's hard for me to believe that I get to spend a whole day with the Seahawks. And I've never played much football before, but maybe I can turn out with the kickers just to have some fun. Very well, Mr. Bumblesby. We will be looking forward to seeing you on the practice field. By the way, we start at 6.30 in the morning by doing all of our exercises. 6.30? Why, why, that's really early, but I'll be there. I wouldn't want to miss this for anything in the world. Okay, Mr. Bumblesby, tell the guard at the gate who you are, and he will let you in. As Mr. Bumblesby hangs up the phone, Mr. Bumblesby's friends, Lisa, Rhonda, and Bob, are walking up to his front door. Who's there? Lisa. Rhonda. Bob. We're here to see if you will play with us, Mr. Bumblesby. Oh, I won't have time to play today, kids. I've won a contest, and I'm going to spend tomorrow at the Seahawks training camp as their special guest. Can we come? Please, Mr. Bumblesby, we just want to watch. And maybe we can get some autographs. Well, I guess it would be all right. But you'll probably have to stay off the field. Yeah, let's go ask permission. What time are you leaving? Tomorrow morning at 6 o'clock. 6 o'clock? Yes. I have to be there in the morning for the practice. I suppose that's just doing a few setups. Well, it's 5.15 Saturday morning, and Mr. Bumblesby is getting ready for his big day. Oh, um, well, I guess I have everything. I, I wonder. I wonder if I should wear my old helmet. We're here, Mr. Bumblesby. We're here. Well, come on in. I'm almost ready, but I have to check to see that my house is fire safe. I'll check the kitchen with you, Mr. Bumblesby. Okay. Remember that you should always unplug appliances like toasters and coffee pots. Good idea, Mr. Bumblesby. If they were to short out, they could cause a fire. I've turned down the heat, Mr. Bumblesby, and the fireplace screen is shut. Your house looks good to me, Mr. Bumblesby, but we should all remember each house is a little different and that we should always think fire safety. I'll lock the door and we'll be on our way. Well, Mr. B and the children were excited, and as we return to our story, they're approaching the gate to the Seahawk camp. There's the gate, Mr. Bumblesby, right over there. And there's, there's Jim Zorn, the quarterback for the Seahawks. Hi, Mr. Bumblesby. Welcome to our training camp. If you have any questions or need some help, let me help you. Looks like we're getting ready to start practice. Want to come with me and get yourself into shape? Sure. Why not? As the morning progresses along, Mr. Bumblesby is beginning to notice how out of shape he is. He huffs and puffs and continues with the rest of the group. This is work. I never knew that these men were in such good shape. You're slowing down, Mr. Bumblesby. Keep moving. Yes, coach. Uh, one, um, two, three. One, two, three. Okay, One, everybody over to the tires two, and let's practice dropping three, and rolling and running three. through the tires. 
We have a special guest with us today, which is Mr. Bumblesby. He's a fire safety expert, and he teaches all the children in the schools to drop and roll. So maybe he can tell us how he teaches the children to do it. Well, of course, it's a completely different reason. You see, our worst fires occur at night. And if you smell smoke or see flames, you should roll out of bed onto the floor and stay as low as you can crawling over to the door, feel it. And if it's hot, don't open it, but go to the other exit. I can see it's very important for you as football players to practice dropping and rolling to make you react quickly. And it's just as important for the children to practice so that they can react quickly in case of an emergency. Okay, that's good advice, Mr. B. Now let's practice. As the day goes on, Mr. B begins to feel at home with all the football players, and after lunch, Mr. B is invited to turn out with the kicking team. Mr. B, would you like to practice with the kicking team? Me? You, you mean me? Kick a ball? Why, uh, sure, I, I guess. Hang in there, Mr. Bumbles B. I think the coach likes you. Okay, today we're going to practice blocking kicks. Remember, this is practice, and we don't want anybody getting hurt. Mr. Bumblesby, why don't you get in there and try your luck? Remember, kick that ball as soon as you get it. But, but, you, oh, never mind, Coach. I, I guess I'll give it a try. Ready? Oh, set, oh, hike. Kick the ball! Kick the ball, Mr. B! Well, the next thing Mr. B remembers, he's being smothered by the whole defensive team. Mr. Bumblesby, Mr. Bumblesby, are you all right? You forgot to kick the ball. Oh, 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 well, what am I doing here? Here, Mr. Bumblesby, let me help you up. Why don't you go sit down for a while, and after practice, will you come to my house and bring your friends? Uh, uh, sure. I think I'll sit down and rest a little bit. Well, the practice ended, and afterwards, Mr. Bumblesby, Jim Zorn, and the children got into Mr. Bumblesby's car and headed for Jim Zorn's house. Are you okay, Mr. Bumblesby? Sure. I just didn't know I was that much out of shape. Mr. Zorn, if you aren't, Mr. Bumblesby can check your house to see if it is fire safe. Because he's a fire safety expert. Well, I think that's a great idea. Everybody should have their house inspected. Can we have your autograph, Mr. Zorn? Now, children, let Mr. Zorn rest. Please, Mr. Zorn? Sure. Well, I just happened to bring along three autograph footballs, which the whole team signed. All right. Here we are. Let's go inside. Make yourself at home, and I'll bet I have some milk in the refrigerator. This is really a nice home, Mr. Bumblesby. I bet this house could never catch fire. Well, just because a house is new doesn't mean that it can't burn. Here's your milk. Why don't we walk through the house, and you can point out different fire hazards. Okay. Thank you. First of all, fireplaces should always have a screen and papers and other combustibles should be kept away so a spark does not catch them on fire. And don't forget, Mr. Bumblesby, electric baseboards, heaters, and portable heaters can stop fires too, and furniture and clothing should not be pushed up against them. Also, close all interior doors at night or when you're away from your home so that if there is a fire, the fire will not spread rapidly to other parts of the house. Those are very important points. I hope everybody keeps their house fire safe. One of the most important things to have is a smoke detector. It's a warning device that will let you know if there is a fire in your home. I have one, Mr. Bumblesby. I know they're important to have. Here, let's check to see if it's operating properly. They should be checked each month to see that they operate correctly, and they should be mounted on the ceiling or high up on the wall near the bedroom. What about matches, Mr. Bumblesby? Matches should be kept out of the reach of the younger members of the family. Give them to an adult, or put them up high in a cupboard or a drawer. 
Mr. Bumblesby, I know you're a very busy person. There's so many different fire hazards, you always have to be alert. Let's go out in my garage and see if there are any fire hazards out there. Okay, but remember, you always have to think fire safety. In the garage, paint and grease rags can easily catch on fire. Always store paint in a safe place. And the grease rag should be stored in a metal covered can. Also, that furnace has a fire inside. The boxes and papers stored too close can easily burn and then can easily start a fire in your home. So don't store anything close to the furnace or the hot water tank. I heard that the worst fires occur at night. Is that true? That's right. And you have to be prepared. Everyone should have a fire escape plan with two exits from their bedroom. It should be practiced with everyone in the house. And then if there is a fire, yell to wake up everyone and have a meeting place outside so that when the fire department arrives, you can tell them if everyone is out or not. Mr. Bumblesby, I think this has been my lucky day. You've taught me so much about fire safety. I've really learned a lot. By practicing a lot in football, you become good. And it's the same in fire safety. You have to practice what you're going to do so that in case there is a fire, you will know exactly what to do. As the day ends, Mr. Bumblesby and the children head homeward. It had been a long day and everyone learned a lot. But I wonder, are we really doing enough about fire safety?